Hi there everybody, it's Tom here with another motoring news update. One of this year's most highly anticipated new electric vehicles, the Skoda Enyaq plus its Sportline variant, has finally arrived in the UK and it's now available to order. If you're thinking that this is just another all-electric SUV hoping to make its mark in an increasingly competitive sector, you're not wrong, but as we know, Skoda has its own way of doing things and that's what makes this vehicle so exciting. In this video, we tell you everything you should know about Skoda's first electric SUV, including the different trim levels on offer and the equipment they provide, and of course, the two most important factors of any electric car, range and charging times. Could it be the EV you go electric with? Let's find out. The Enyaq iV is Skoda's latest iV model following the electric Citygo E and plug-in hybrid Superb and Octavia. It's Skoda's first production model based on Volkswagen's MEB electric platform, the same one used by the VW ID3 hatchback and the ID4 SUV. With the launch of the Enyaq, Skoda says it's making e-mobility simply clever with long ranges, quick charging, ease of operation and affordable prices. The Enyaq iV is rolling off the production line at Skoda's own Malada Bolslav plant in the Czech Republic, the first MEB model produced outside of Germany and it's being produced at a rate of up to 350 units per day. Skoda recently built its 15 million vehicle at this plant where current models such as the Scala, Octavia and Karok are also made. Two different models of the Enyaq are offered, the entry level 60 nav and the more powerful 80 nav and they can be equipped with five different trim levels, loft, lodge, lounge, suite, or eco-suite, each of which offer cosmetic changes to the interior. All trims are equipped with an impressive level of standard equipment that we've come to expect from Skoda's vehicles. As standard with the entry-level 60 nav model, you'll get 19-inch Proteus alloy wheels, automatic LED headlights, black roof rails, rear parking sensors and heated and electrically folding door mirrors. The top spec 80 nav variant adds a heated steering wheel, front parking sensors and a rear view camera. The Enyaq IV is 4,648mm long and 1,877mm wide, meaning it's significantly larger than rivals such as the Kia e Nero and Hyundai Kona Electric. It's also longer than the Skoda Karok and around 50mm shorter than the brand's largest SUV, the Kodiak. It offers an impressive 585 litre boot space, which increases to 1,710 litres with the rear seats folded, which should be more than enough for the weekly grocery shop. Inside the cabin, your eyes will be drawn to the 13-inch infotainment touchscreen, which is the largest in any Skoda, and this features wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity. The display offers customizable layouts and can be operated using the LoRa Digital Voices system while on the move, which understands 15 different languages. Other interior highlights include dual zone climate control, ambient lighting, and an eight speaker stereo system. Behind the multifunction leather steering wheel is the 5.3 inch digital cockpit display, which has four different layouts showing you important information such as speed, driving data, navigation, and any active assistance systems. Indeed, there's a lot of standard safety tech including lane keeping assist, autonomous emergency braking and cruise control. Families will love how much storage space there is in the cabin. A pair of 1.5 litre bottles fit nicely into the front and rear doors and there's a 6.2 litre jumbo box hidden under the centre armrest and an 11.4 litre space below the centre console. Other niceties like USB-C ports, smartphone storage and folding tray tables also feature. Interested in the Skoda Enyaq IV? Get in touch on 01903 538 835. As mentioned earlier, the different trims offer cosmetic changes to the interior. The loft trim features artificial leather seat upholstery and brushed aluminium decor panels. Lodge has natural wool seat upholstery. Lounge features light grey leather and yellow stitching and the suite trim features black upholstery and a piano black dashboard trim. Finally, the most expensive eco suite option trims the cabin in a gorgeous cognac brown leather upholstery. There's a number of optional extras to pimp out your Enyaq even further, such as 20-inch alloy wheels, electrically adjustable front seats, and the climate package, which features all things heated, from the front and rear seats to the windscreen and washer nozzles. The Enyaq IV is available in the energy blue solid color and seven different metallic colors, Arctic Silver, Black Magic Pearl, Brilliant Silver, Moon White, Quartz Gray, 
race blue and velvet red. Let us know which colour is your favourite in the comments below. Are you thinking about going electric with your next vehicle? OSV's unique consultative approach ensures you find the vehicle that perfectly suits your needs. To start your vehicle journey, get in touch on 01903 538 835 or click the link in the description. Now let's take a closer look at the two different models, starting with the entry level 60 nav. This version combines a 62 kilowatt hour battery with an 178 brake horsepower electric motor, which gives the EV a 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 8.7 seconds. This is slightly slower than the VW ID4, however, that car features a more powerful motor and larger battery. With the 60 nav, expect a WLTP tested range of 256 miles, however, this is dependent on road conditions, weight, and speed. The battery can be recharged from 0 to 80% in as little as 35 minutes from a 50 kilowatt DC rapid charging unit. And for an additional cost, the 60 nav can be specified to support faster 100 kilowatt charging, which would suit those who regularly travel long distances. However, most people will be topping up their Enyaq at home using a 7 kilowatt wall box, which will take around 7 to 8 hours for a full charge. The 80 nav variant is much more powerful with its 82 kilowatt hour battery pack and 201 brake horsepower motor, which boosts the maximum electric range to 333 miles, more than the Tesla Model X long range. Its 0 to 62 miles per hour time drops slightly to 8.5 seconds, however, its 0 to 80% charging time increases to 40 minutes as a result of the larger battery. To make up for this, you can spec it with the 125 kilowatt DC charging support if you're willing to bump up the vehicle's price tag. Both of these variants are rear wheel drive, however, the 80X four wheel drive powertrain will be added to the range later this year. If you want to get the most out of your Enyaq and you love a good sporty trim, then the Sportline variant should be on your radar. It's currently the most powerful version of the Enyaq on sale, at least until the 302 brake horsepower Enyaq VRS launches sometime later this year. The Sportline version adds performance inspired upgrades including 20 or 21 inch alloy wheels, take your pick, full matrix LED headlights, a gloss black exterior bodywork and an aggressive looking front bumper. Ride height has also been dropped thanks to the lower sport suspension. It's equipped with a lot of the same standard equipment as the regular Enyaq, but inside the cabin you're treated to black sports bucket seats, a new sports steering wheel and aluminium pedals. Performance wise, only the 80 nav powertrain will be offered from launch. So what do you make of the Skoda Enyaq? Would you buy one over the Kia e-Niro, the Volkswagen ID4 or even the Tesla Model X? Let us know your thoughts in the comments guys. If you're interested in getting behind the wheel of the Enyaq when deliveries commence this summer, we're more than happy to explore your options to find the specification that perfectly suits you. To get in touch with our vehicle specialists, call 01903 538 835 or click the link below in the description. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave it a like, subscribe to the channel for more motoring updates like this, as well as in-depth reviews of the latest vehicles, and don't forget to ring that bell above to ensure you don't miss a new video as soon as it lands. That's all from me today, guys. Many thanks for watching this episode. Take care and safe driving.